Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to divide these uh, polynomial by this monomial. And what we have here is 4x to the fourth plus 8x cubed plus x minus 3 divided by 2x. Now, a lot of times you'll see maybe in a book or maybe an example, we'll put parentheses on there. And that's just to make sure that we understand that we're dividing this whole polynomial by our monomial. So to apply uh, the division algorithm for division of polynomials, we're going to want to write it in this format. OK, I forgot one last thing when I get to this. If you notice, I, if I'm taking this polynomial and going down in descending order, I have x to the fourth, x cubed, but I don't have an x squared. And when you're first learning long division, it's probably going to be very, very helpful for you to, for you to in, um, include a 0x squared. Now remember, 0x squared is still 0. And you can see that that's why it doesn't show up. But this is going to help us just as far as our place value when we're first learning long division. All right, so there's everything that I have. And I'll even uh, use a different color to represent my quotient. So remember, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our first term on our divisor and divide it into the first term of our dividend. So 2x divides into 4x, 4x to the fourth, 2x cubed times. Then we multiply these. 2x cubed times 2x is going to leave us with 4x to the fourth. And of course, we want that because we want to subtract this out to 0. So that goes ahead and becomes a 0. Now, one important thing that I'm going to use different color with is make sure when you're subtracting, you're subtracting the whole row. This is going to become very, very important once we uh, start dividing by uh, binomials and trinomials. So it's really important that we're subtracting the whole row. All right, so then we have 0. So now I'm going to bring down the next term, which is 8x cubed. 2x divides into 8x cubed, a positive 4x squared times. Then I take this part of the quotient, and I multiply it by my divisor to give me 8x cubed. Again, I subtract the whole term, and therefore that gives me with 0. Then I bring down the next term, which is a 0x squared. Now, 2x does not divide into 0x squared. So, but the, the 2 does not divide into 0, and the x, though, it does divide into the x squared. So you can say that this place value is going to be a positive 0x. So we're not going to include a linear term in part of our divisor, but we'll put it with the 0 just so we have the place value in our descending order. So 0x times 2x has become 0x uh, squared, which, of course, is 0. Then I bring down my next term. 0x times 0, 8x squared. Just want to make sure, plus x. Oh, 0x squared. I forgot. I didn't write down the whole answer. Plus x minus 3. Sorry, so I'm going to bring down the x term, which is an x. I thought I wrote something down wrong with the problem. So 2x divides into x a positive 1 half times. And then 1 half times 2x is going to equal is going to equal x. Again, we subtract that whole row. And therefore, that leaves us with um, 0. Then we bring down our final term, which is a negative 3. Now, notice this 2x, this has a variable factor with it. That's not going to divide into a constant. So therefore, this negative 3 is going to be what we call our remainder. So that's going to be our remaining value. So our, um, our term, 2x, does not divide evenly into our polynomial. Therefore, when writing our answer, our quotient, we can write it as 2x cubed plus 4x squared. We do not need to write our 0x term plus 1 half. And then rather than writing like a remainder, our r negative 3, we're going to write our remainder divided by our divisor. And I'm saying minus 3 because it's a negative 3 is our remainder. So it's minus 3 divided by our divisor. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you divide a polynomial by a monomial. Thanks.